G'day guys, how are you? Dean here again with another Photoshop Friday. Today we're going to talk about actions. I'm going to show you how to how to record an action and how to play an action back over an image. Now actions are amazing, fantastic things. They save us lots and lots of time. We can replay an action over one image. It may be something that we um, do all the time in Photoshop. Or we can replay an action over a whole batch, like a whole folder full of images. It may be 500 images that you want to do the one thing to. So you can do that. Now, actions can get a little bit tricky. So today I'm going to keep it really simple. This is purely um, to show you how to record an action and how to play it back over an, Im over an image. Now I'll probably do a more advanced one getting into the more tricky stuff. I'll talk a little bit about it as we're doing it, telling you what you can and what you can't do. Um, but basically today I just want to keep it fairly simple and just show you guys, for the people that don't know how to, how to use an action, how to set it up and use it. Um, and then for you guys that do use actions and know how to use them, then I'll do another video for you lot, just the more advanced stuff and a little tricky stuff that you can get into that you may not know about. Okay, Photoshop's fired up, let's get stuck into it and let me show you guys how to record an action. The first thing you're going to need is your actions window or palette open. Okay, so if that's not open, just come up here in the um, top toolbar to window and just select it there and that will open this window up for you. Now I'll give you a walkthrough with this palette. So down the bottom here we've got some controls. So this one here is our play button, so that's the one we hit to play an action. This is a um, recording light, so when we're recording an action this one goes red to tell us that we're recording. And then this one here is our stop button for when we are recording. We've also got a new set here, so if we want to create a new set of actions we would select this one here. And this uh, little icon here we click that to create a new action. We also have a flyout menu here with some more commands in here. Now each one of these is what they call a set of actions. I like to think of them as folders. If you guys just think of them as a folder, they're a great way of organizing your actions. So you can see I have some uh, here. I've got Dean's actions. These are just most of my normal editing actions. And then I've got some more specific ones. So for instance, for Instagram, I have a couple of um, actions, one here to set up to run over a landscape uh, shaped image or a vertical image. So when you make an action, you can select a folder or a set to place it into, and this keeps them nice and organized. Okay, so let me make a new set and a new action. I'll show you how that all works. So down here on our controls down here, we can either select this one here to create a new set, or it's also available up here in the flyout menu, new set there. Okay, so let's just create that, and I'm going to call it just test actions. Now I'm going to make that vignette action that I showed you the other week. Now when we make that particular one, I need to make a selection before I start recording the action. And this is where you need to have a think about your actions before you start recording them. So this particular one I'm going to record, I need to make a step first before I start recording because I don't want this step as part of the action. So I'm just making a selection here. And once I've got that made, I can now start recording my action. So I'll hit this one here, create new action. Uh, I can rename that, so let's call it vignette. And I'm going to put it into this set here. So that's where we would select the folder or set that we want to put it into. Now this is a really nice function here too. We can actually assign a function key to be able to run this action. So let's assign that to F1 because I know I don't have anything assigned to F1 at the moment. Now, as soon as I hit this record button, we're going to start recording all of the steps that I'm going to um, place into this action. And this little red light down here will come up telling us that we are recording. So I hit record. 
don't need to know that that's just come up because I have a selection made so you can see the red light is on here so we are recording so now I just need to go through and record the steps that I need to make for this action so I'll just go through and do that if you want to know how to do this go and watch my um, my tutorial on how to make a vignette okay so I've made all of those steps and once I've finished uh, making all of the commands for the action I need to turn it off and well not turn it off but tell it to stop recording so that's this button here okay so that has stopped recording now with this particular one that looks pretty awful but um, part of making this action is I then drop the opacity back to where it needs to be and this image doesn't actually need a vignette because I've already placed one on it but anyway it shows you how to record that action so that has now been recorded we can see it here if I just completely close that folder so this little arrow here opens that folder up and then it shows all of the actions inside it so this is the one here we made vignette and then if I click on that little arrow there it shows all of the steps made within that action it also shows me here f1 which tells me that i've assigned a function key to run that action let's just run it over that uh, function key so i'll just get rid of that layer go back to where we were so don't forget this particular one i need to make that selection first so we'll make a selection so we're ready to go with the action so I just need to hit F1 on the keyboard and there we go that has run that action for me. So that's how you run an action over a single image. Now of course we can do it on multiple images. Just let me step back out of here. So I've got two images up in Photoshop got these two here now if I want to run that action over both or over multiple images then I can do that a couple of different ways I'll show you how to do it inside Photoshop now if you only had two images to be honest you wouldn't really do it this way you would just open them and run the action but say we had 10 images so if we had 10 it's a little bit slow um, you know going to each one and then telling it to run the action so I'll run it over these two so we come file automate batch okay and I'll bring up this batch window here now I don't want to run this vignette action because I've got to make a um, selection for that so just say I'm putting these ones on Instagram so I have an action made here for landscape shaped images for Instagram so I select the set I select the action that I want to run and this one here we've got an option here of a folder or open files so at the moment I just want to run this action over these two open files so we leave that selected now up here this is important for this particular exercise I want none selected so what that will do is it basically won't do anything it will just run the action and leave the images where they are in Photoshop open if I selected save and close then it will uh, save and close them I don't want to do that that's a little bit dangerous because that overwrites the file if I wanted to put them into a separate folder somewhere else then I would select folder as I said for this exercise I just want to show you how it runs the action over open files in Photoshop so we're all set we just click OK and that'll now it's done that in the blink of an eye so we've got those two images now have been downsized ready for Instagram and my logo has been placed in there as well and this particular action this is where you need to think about setting up an action if you have a look in the layers palette the logo is actually sitting on an empty layer and that allows me if I select the move tool 
those two things it allows me to, be able to move the logo to wherever I want and because it's on a layer if I feel it's a little bit strong I can also drop the opacity back okay so there you go we've run an action over two open files in Photoshop now the next thing I want to show you is how to run an action over multiple images without having to open them in Photoshop so we do this from bridge this is a great um, it's a great tool for having for just running an action over multiple images you can select them in a folder and you don't have to actually have them open in Photoshop so you just think if we were doing it over 50 images then we don't want to open 50 images and then run it through Photoshop so we do it via bridge now if you don't have bridge um, you will have it because it's part of Photoshop I find a lot of people don't use it or don't even know about it basically what it is if you use Lightroom it's sort of like the library version of Lightroom or the, or the library section of Lightroom so it allows you to browse your files um, and you can select them you can move them you can do lots of different things with it and one of the neat things is I'll show you how to do this you can run um, batch commands from it as well so I'm in a folder here with 28 um, photos in it and I want to run an action over well let's just say we'll run it over um, four images so I'll run it over these four so what I do is I select the four images and then I go up here to tools and I come down to Photoshop and batch so we're basically now back in that same spot where we were um, back in Photoshop so it's it's open the same one up so we select our set and our action here that we want to run now here we want to select bridge so your option is bridge or a folder if you select folder it's going to run the action over every image in a folder which is great but sometimes you don't want to run a whole folder you only want to select a few so we'll leave that as bridge and then here again I want to go none so what this will do is it will open these into Photoshop for me so for this particular exercise I'll do that so you can see that it has opened it and run the image but you have the option of placing them you can save and close which will overwrite the files or you could select the folder and put them into somewhere else so that basically makes a copy of it and places it into a new new spot so let's leave none so it's going to open them in Photoshop let's run that so it'll open these four and then just run that action and leave them open in Photoshop for me these are pretty big TIFF layered files too so that's taken a few seconds to do each one but you can see how quick that is so I've now got those four images there in Photoshop and they've all had that action run over them so there you go guys that's how you record an action how you play it back over a single image or over a folder of images hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching uh, catch you in the next one stay safe ciao